Yes, guys. I deserve this. I fucking deserve this. Every single, like, you know that gut feeling inside of you? Every part of me was telling me, don't turn up today. Don't turn up today. These players aren't going to turn up. Don't bother turning up. Do a fucking live stream. What does my dumb ass do? I do the same thing I did last year and I fucking turn up. I deserve this. Deserve this. That's one of the worst performances I've ever watched from this football club in my life. In my fucking life. Forget last season. Forget the season before that. Forget this season. This was worse than Newcastle. This was worse than the Southampton 1 0. Eric Ten Hag and his team were running rings around Chelsea. Just deep that. Fucking Ten Hag ball. And we can't pattern that. We can't handle fucking Eric Ten Hag ball. We had Bruno and McTominay running rings around our midfield. The only reason why we why it was only 2-1 was because it was Man United's attack and these lot of pants. That's the only thing that saved us. No positives. Robert Sanchez keeps it from being a cricket score, but even his distribution was arse. The defence kept giving possession away. Thiago Silva had some clear blocks, but he could that's the best he could do. Big up Sanchez for the save as well. Cucurella did the best that he could. I don't know why we, we put James on there afterwards when Cucurella was doing a decent job at right back in general. If the guy's got knee pain, leave him. Clearly wasn't good enough to start, so he weren't good enough to come off the bench. Enzo and Caicedo have done so much defending for you two, and you just spam my face. Just spam my face with that result. The pair of, like, I, now if people want to go after the 215 pound midfield, it's fair, it's justified. Because we, we let Man United run rings around us. Flawless, easiest performance of the season for you, bro. I can't believe how bad you you know. I was shocked. It's dead ass worse was, than last listen, season. I was just here listening to Chelsea Tears. It's great. It's fucking shit. We got it back again live pod after this. Oh, I want to kill myself, bro. This is just dreadful, man. It's dreadful, bro. And that's the last away for a good, for a good fucking month or two. I'm not doing Luton. I'm, I'm not doing fucking Everton. We're not doing Wolves. Liverpool away, you play like this, we're holding eight. I'm not going to that. Fuck that. I'm good. Like, this is not worth the stress. We travelled five and a half fucking hours for that shit. That shit. Next time I'm following my gut instinct. If I tell myself it's not the right game for it, ain't the fucking right game for it. Trust is earned. Trust is fucking earned. I've got no faith in Potter after that game. Because how is the whole team able to be that disjointed again? Again. And then the, the one thing he does is he takes off the only thing that was working for us and that was Cucurella on the right. I've got no faith in him. Faith is earned. No confidence in Poch anymore. No confidence. This attack, we need an experienced striker ASAP. I don't care if it's Tony. I don't care if it's Oshimen. You bring somebody in in January. Because in spite of how shit we were, we've had enough chances to finish. Jackson finds himself in the exact same position. That, that he was in three times against Tottenham and he's fucked it. And he's fucked it. Maybe he needs time, but like we don't have time anymore. We keep constantly shitting the bed, left, right and centre. Top four gets further and further away by the week. We need an experienced striker. Some of the off the ball marking was pathetic. That first goal, Enzo, Caicedo, Mudrick, the three of them need to hang their fucking heads in shame. Absolutely disgraceful the way that they played. First goal, McTominay has free roam to run into the box because nobody is coming back. The amount of space in that 18-yard box was ridiculous. It was fucking ridiculous. And then the only thing that saves us is just a lot of Sanchez worldies. Absolute worldies. Big up to Cole Palmer for the goal. It was basically all he did that game. He struggled. Absolutely struggled. Maybe grew into it a little bit more in the second half, but it still wasn't to the standard that we needed it to be. Jackson wasn't good enough. Sterling had to resort to diving at one point, but he did get the ball on the plate to Nicholas Jackson the first half, and he should have done a little bit better on that. I don't know where we go from here. I, 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 I had confidence that we could build a winning run, and it's done after one game. Every time I have a little bit of faith in this fucking team, they go and they spit in my face. They go and they spit straight in my face. I'm so finished. Now we got the back again pod after this. I'm going to be live tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. Oh, this is going to be the last time I do this to myself. This was the easiest opportunity that we've had to win at this fucking shithole, man. Every time I come here, we don't win. And every time I come here, the United team gets worse. And every time I come here, we get worse. We get worse. 
It just goes round in circles. I'm so sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this shit. I'm done defending everybody. It's now just crash settings. It's crash settings. Everybody can hold smoke on this. The players, the manager, because they're all to blame. They're all to blame and it's the second away in a row where I'm in this position. It's fucking pathetic, man. We're going to Everton, low block FC. That one's going to be fucking entertaining, isn't it? Watch us play the same sideways and backwards football that we did today. It got to a point where we're in the away and going, Sanchez is on, Sanchez is on because the amount of times we love passing the fucking ball backwards. We'll drive the ball 20 yards forward just to put it sideways and then send it back to the centre-backs again. Is, is that our game plan? Is that our fucking game plan that we had coming into this shit? This is a joke. These, play these players need to be coached better. He needs to be coached better. You can't be allowing players to have that little work rate off the ball. Mudrick's work rate has come into question so fucking long. It's either a case of you either know it's happening and it's some tactical bullshit or you're enabling it. And he's enabling it. He's enabling it. The, the football that we have been playing has been fucking pathetic. When we play good football, we give away petulant yellow cards. That was another feature at the end of the game, by the way. More silly yellow cards because we were losing our heads. We're too emotional. We're too fucking emotional as a team. I say that is me just spilling all my emotions on the fucking video. But I'm a fan. I'm allowed to be emotional. The players need to have better IQ. But I say better IQ. When we got this manager in charge, I don't see it. I, I've completely run out of patience with Pochettino. I've completely run out of patience with him. Because there's no way the team is, being, is, doing, is playing that badly by themselves. That is coaching or lack of coaching. How has it been three months and we still can't play out the back? How is it three months and we're still making stupid mistakes time after time after time again? The substitutions, the only thing I was really annoyed about was probably the Petrovic, no, not the Petrovic, the um, Cucurella, Cucurella being moved onto the left because why the fuck were we doing that? Cucurella should have stayed on the fucking right hand side. Other than that, the game plan was fucking terrible. I don't want to hear any excuses about injuries or on Cuckoo. The last thing we need to be doing is putting the entire pressure of this club onto his shoulders. Because, it, because the one thing we're going to do is we're going to rush him back early and then, we're going, and then he's going to play shit and then he's going to be the one that gets ripped and then what's the excuse? Then what's the fucking excuse? God knows where we go from here. We need convincing performances, but we don't have convincing performances and we barely have results, let alone that. So I don't know where we go from here, but <laughs> Pochi used to pattern up and fast because they said top four is a must. And if we weren't looking close to getting it, his job would be under threat. So <laughs> we will see. We will see. I don't know where we go from here, but we'll see what happens. Like, guys, pray for me on the way back because I'm losing my sanity by the fucking week. I'm losing my sanity by the week. And now I'm going to have to go back online and get cooked again because I backed these stupid fucking idiots bodied by Eric Ten Hag ball Eric Ten Hag ball had us running running around and chasing our fucking shadows for 90 minutes ask me if it, if it gets more embarrassing than that this guy's job was under jeopardy half the United fan base want this guy out because the football's not working and he's, he doesn't look like he has a fucking clue. Meanwhile, with us, we're going to do this whole trust the process bollocks. No, trust is earned. I've been saying trust is fucking earned. Problem with us, we're, this isn't uh, th nothing is being earned right now. But we're going to give it because we believe in this PR bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, man. Big up to everybody that's locked in, though. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that. We'll be back tomorrow. Ugh. It's gonna be a long fucking day, man. A long fucking day. Big up everybody, like, subscribe, up the chels. See, I was almost done venting and now I've seen the post-batch press conferences. <laughs> the guy said he thinks he's not disappointed because he thinks the boys gave everything. Like we are literally in the fucking Graham Potter era, I swear on my life. How are we back to this? How are we back to this? How the fuck are we back to this? We're literally back to the boys gave everything era. In what world was that giving everything? In what world was I struggling to even make three straight passes together in a row giving everything?
In what world is getting dominated by Bruno Fernandes fucking giving everything? Giving Garn what did we give? The whole space of the midfield to McTominay for the first goal. Is that what we gave? I'm so sick of this fucking paper over the cracks and pretend everything's positive bullshit. You should be hanging everybody out to dry for that performance. But no, it's a, yet again more enabling. I'm sick of this bullshit. I'm sick of this bullshit. Don't tell me that the players gave everything. We gave everything traveling up to this bullshit. On the pitch, they didn't give shit. Now, I know we're going to hear more excuses at the end of this. This is fucking pathetic. Big up, everybody. I'm out, but this is fucking bullshit.